Hi Pisces, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you haven't seen it yet, myself and Heather from Astrology with Heather put out a webinar a few, uh, well, it's a few weeks ago now, <clears throat> called navigating the bigger picture this is a forecast for over the next five to six years it was three to three and a half hours long we had an amazing time doing it and talking tarot astrology numerology and what this looks like for all of us going forward it's a donations based webinar so you can get the download um, and you can watch it at your leisure and you can pay whatever you like whether it's a little whether it's a lot it's completely up to you as for your tarot forecast for the week ahead, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week for your key to the week, you have the tower card. So there is possibly some uh, very surprising or shocking news on its way into you. And, you know, as I said for, I think it was Capricorn, this could also be a big realization for you, or it could be a moment that changes everything. A moment where you meet somebody, a moment where you connect with somebody. This could be an idea that you have, a connection that is formed. It, you know, this could be across the board in your life, but in some way, shape or form, things are not going to be the same from here on in. For your actions and options, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You are very focused on work, on the career, on where it is that you want to go, the money that you want to make. This is all about you and how you show up in the world. But it's also in relation to the skills and the craft that you have or that you've honed. This is all about what it is that you want to be known for and how it is that you want the world to view you. So in some way, shape or form, this is about you stepping forward to say, this is important to me. This this is how I want people to know me and this is what I want people to know me for. Your actions and options sees you really working on the things that you are passionate about and it could also see you being really uh, really proactive this week about developing the skills that you have or taking them further. Maybe you want to get a qualification, maybe you want to complete a, qu a qualification, maybe you are focused on uh, the skills that you have and brushing them up and what's the best way to do that, right? Go back to the basics, master those, right? And it's funny because I think, I can't remember who it was, but there was, um, I remember watching a talk and somebody said in that, that every true master of anything will always go back to the, if you go, if you're a true master, you'll go back to the beginning, you'll remaster your basics, and then you will continue learning onto bigger and, be bigger and better techniques. So interesting stuff for your, communications and conversations so look at this right you've got the tower card and the full card and this tells me there is some there's a brand new start there is a fresh beginning whether this is in your work in your career in your job with your business um there is going to be a big moment this week of change there is going to be a big moment where something goes in a completely different direction maybe to the one that you you had expected maybe to the one that you had planned but remember, and I say this because the Tower card and the Fool card, they're kind of like two halves of a whole. And the Tower card is kind of like, you know, it's the, it's the heavier aspect of it. I'm going to be really honest with you. But the Fool card, it's new things, new places, new people, new energy, new stimuli. And it tends to bring you a very beneficial but destined or fated moment. This could be a conversation. Sometimes it's a conversation that you have that doesn't really become relevant until a week, a month, a year, or even five years down the line. And then it suddenly hits you and you're like, wow, that set me on a completely different path to the one that I realized. Um, this could be uh, you know, this could be a surprising event that comes in or some sort of news that comes in, maybe around your work or your job or your career, that completely changes everything, that just makes you go, holy crap, I was not expecting that, or I didn't expect that to happen, or I didn't expect that to come through. This, I mean, it could be really some, some great news, but it could be really shocking news, i.e. you get the dream job of your life, and they say to you, you know what, but we need you to move to... 
I don't know, a different country or a different town or a different part of the country that you're living in, right? That's, it's great news, but it's a news that comes with an upheaval. This could be the kind of week that brings that kind of opportunity. So stay tuned for your money and materials. You have the six of swords, whatever you are building at this moment in time, whatever intentions you're setting, whatever it is that you have in your mind about what you want to do, what you want to create or where you want to go, this week is going to be pivotal to it. The Six of Swords, when it comes to your money and your finances, is basically saying that period that you've had that was challenging around your money, around your finances, or maybe even to do with your work, this comes to an end this week. But it's not just like, I mean, for some of you, it could be sudden overnight but for a lot of you this is about a, a journey that you are embarking on at this moment in time that six months from now is going to completely change and revolutionize your finances and your earning potential this is a very powerful week do not waste it for your um, physical health this could be a week where you are finally getting back on the wagon. So you are putting the work in on making something better or making yourself better. You know, whether this is your diet, your outlook, uh, whether it's your self-care, whether it is all of the above, you know, whether it's your um, exercise, all of that sort of stuff. <coughs> when it comes to your home and environment, look at this, right? Oh, sorry. Um, so I said to you, that this, um, <laughs> my screen shut down. I was like, oh no, am I still recording? <laughs> um, I said to you, I feel like this will take you further afield, right? Or some opportunity is gonna come up that could very well see you looking outside of the area that you're in. Work that takes you further afield or at a distance or possibly even to a new place, uh, you know, possibly even a new country for some of you. This could be a very, very exciting energy. I'm really intrigued to see how this plays out, because um, I know quite a few Pisceans. So <laughs> I'm kind of like, oh, y'all, what's going on? For your love and relations, you have the Hanged Man, right? Which is a very Piscean card, very Neptu Neptunian card. So this week, it does appear that you Pisces are meeting somebody. And the Hanged Man here, um, especially underneath the Fool card and the Tower card, this is a spontaneous meeting. Uh, this is a fated meeting. Uh, and you know me, I don't really use those words very often or willy-nilly. I'm, I'm very selective about this. And the reason I say this is because this has the potential to bring somebody in your into your life that is going to completely change your life. So this is very, very exciting. This could be you meeting a partner, uh, somebody that becomes a partner. This could be you meeting somebody that feels like a soulmate. Um, what I can tell you with the hanged man, you are going to want to take your time with this to let it develop slowly. If you jump straight in, uh, and the reason I say this is because I don't feel like you have all of the facts about this, all right? And that's not to say that I feel like there's anything wrong with this person. It just may be that there are a few things that they are shutting down or closing down in their own lives. Um, and so, you know, they're not 100% there. Like, if it's worth doing and worth having this person in your life, which I truly believe that it is, um, it is worth taking your sweet time over take your time you have all the time that you need and not only that through the pro by the process of meeting and connecting with this person the chances are they are going to get you to see yourself in a completely different light and that is worth everything for those of you that are partnered um i love this because it suggests that you guys are either thinking about working together or going into business together, or you are considering how you can effectively create an exit strategy to get out of where you are. So this means, uh, you know, if you said, you know, yeah, you know, eventually five, 10 years, we want to move abroad. This could be you switching it up and saying, right, two years and we're out. Um, if this is, you know, this could be on the other hand of this as well. It could be that something about your relationship is going to change. Now, you know, that could mean anything. I don't necessarily see an end here, um, but I do see an evolution. And that's really, really exciting. And something about it kind of says that it's either the work, the job, or the environment that is changing. And because one of it, because it changes for one of you, it can inadvertently, uh, you know, change everything for both of you. So it'd be a very, very exciting week for you guys. I mean, we're just off the back of that full moon in Pisces. 
um, which is happening right now, actually, as, I, as I'm reading these cards here in the UK, it's happening tonight. So <laughs> I'm really, really intrigued to see how this plays out for you. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how this one shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.